Welcome to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series on the Region Sports Network, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Located just one block north of the square in Crown Point and just one minute from Jerry Ross Park, Station 21 American Grill is one of the city's most popular eateries. Station 21 offers a full menu from steaks and seafood to burgers and wings. While in town for the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in and enjoy comfortable dining while watching a game on one of the 28 big screen TVs. Check out the menu at Station21.com. Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Top reasons to work at Strack and Van Til. Many opportunities to grow. 
flexible hours. Outstanding benefits like paid vacation time and holidays. Enjoy health benefits in a 401k plan. I always feel like I'm part of the team. Premium and competitive pay. The sign-on and referral bonuses help to find the perfect talent. Text Strax to 972-11 to apply today or visit our site at strackinventil.com slash careers. Nobody else will give you the opportunities that we do. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso is a leader in athletics apparel and equipment sales. With in-house production, including screen printing, trophies, embroidery, and more, Blythe's can help you to create the perfect look. For more information, visit them online at teamblythe's.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso, where the athletes shop. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. All right, how you doing, everybody? Welcome into Region Sports Network coverage of the 10U Cal Ripken World Series here in Crown Point, Indiana. Join you a few minutes late with the play-by-play -play commentary. Two to nothing, our score. Cherville coming to bat. Willamette has the lead. So Willamette scored two runs in the top half of the first. And now Cherville comes to bat. Leaving things off, it'll be Noah Kohler. He's followed by Parker Coffey and Tristan Clausen. The one, two, and three hitters for Cherville. How's my audio? We good? There's a pitch that misses for ball one. The pitcher is Court Duel for Willamette. Willamette Valley, I believe. So Kohler, Coffey, and Clausen lead things off. Then Leo Hobbins, Colin Israel, and Liam Butkus to follow. There's a pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Max Mutka, Brian Dobry, Austin Tomaszewski, and Maddox Routen round out the batting order for Cherville. Three balls, one strike. There's a pitch that skips in there for ball four, and Cherville has its leadoff runner on base. Noah Kohler, the right fielder, is at first with a walk, and that'll bring up the left fielder, Parker Coffey. Coffey, a left-handed hitter. Here's the pitch from Duell. No. It's either DeWall or, or Duel. I'll try to get you the correct, the correct pronunciation of that. There's a pitch that gets away. The runner moves up to second base now. Scoring position. So Parker Coffey with an RBI opportunity here. That pitch is low and gets away. Catcher can't find it, still can't find it. And the runner is going to move up to third. Unfortunate situation there for the catcher. Here's the pitch, foul ball. Two balls, two strikes is the count. Line drive, smash up the middle, base hit. That's going to be an RBI for Coffee. And Cherville draws first blood here. They lead one to nothing. Two to one, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's right, I missed that inning. My bad, my bad, I missed that top half, everybody. Sorry about that, it's two to one. Willamette leads, try to keep a better eye on the scoreboard. Thank you for correcting me on that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to move, keep a better, better view of the scoreboard. 
So Cherville trails two to one. I said they drew first blood, but again, disregard what I said. I was not here for the top half of the first. It is two to one, Cherville trails. That pitch gets away. The runner's gonna go down to second base. The throw will not be in time. So Cherville now has the tying runner in scoring position with Tristan Clausen at the plate, the number three hitter. He's the shortstop. We're recording. Yep, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately the internet's not working on this field. But we will have it up online as soon as we can. Two balls, one strike. Ground ball. Through the hole between first and second. It's gonna put runners at the corners. And that'll bring up Leo Hobbins. Leo is the pitcher for Cherville in this game. Some kids get a jump start on their growth, and this young man is one of those. I wonder if the Lake Central football coaches have an eye on this guy. They might try to put him in uniform this fall. All right, so runner moves up. Runner's at first and second. Nobody out. Bottom of the first. Cherville trying to get even. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, two and one. This is the 10U Cal Ripken World Series from Crown Point, Indiana. Jerry Ross Park. There's a pitch swung on and missed by Hobbins. Big swing on that one. That'll even up the count at two and two. For those of you who don't know, Jerry Ross is an astronaut who was born here in Crown Point, went to school in Crown Point, logged more hours in space than any astronaut in history. And now he's got a school and a park named after him. One of two astronauts from the region, Frank Borman being the other one. All right, we've got a full count here. Runners at second and third. Here's the payoff. Inside ball four, the bases are loaded. Time is called with Colin Israel, the third baseman, coming up. Willamette manager coming out to just kind of settle his team down a little bit. One run is in, the bases are loaded, nobody out. Our home plate umpire there, Chris Ramirez, same as our broadcaster tonight. How about that? How often does that happen, huh? Where the play-by-play -play guy and the home plate umpire have the same name. That ball bounces in, gets away, but nobody's going to move up. Not a lot of room here behind home plate, and that ball does bounce around. Here's the 1-0 pitch, up high, inside. Goes to the backstop, 2-0 to count. Duel kicks and delivers, that's over for a strike. 2-1 and one now to count. The bases are loaded. Here's the pitch. Pop back out of play overhead. 
Off of the shed behind us. That pitch is upstairs. Count goes full once again. Three balls, two strikes, bases loaded. That's ball four, it's gonna force in another run. And Sherrillville has tied the game at two. Still nobody out. It's an RBI for Israel and that'll bring up Liam Butkus. Butkus. That's a name people in this part know pretty well. That pitch gets away. Runners do not move up. Of course, the last name Butkus makes everybody think of football. Not sure if there's a relation involved in that at all. There's another pitch gets away. I know there were some Butkuses that played football at Griffith. Oh, maybe 15 years ago. So again, don't know if it's any relation, but that Butkus was related to the football family. I believe, I believe Dick Butkus, the linebacker, was the great uncle, I think is the way it worked, of the kid who played at uh, Griffith. But don't quote me on that. Here's a pitch. That's over for a strike. Three and one to count. Butkus was taken all the way on that one. Line drive to the shortstop. He runs to second, tries to double up the runner. But Hobbins gets back in time. So that's the first out of the inning. Shortstop on the play, Caleb Vermeer. Bases are still loaded with one out. At the plate now, Max Mutka, the center fielder. Ground ball up the middle, second baseman. Everybody's going to reach base safely. We're going to have a play at the plate. Not in time. The run scores. Two runs come across for Ch for Cherville. And they now lead 4 to 2. Still only one out. Blake, Dro Do Blake Dobry, the extra player, is at the plate. Pitch upstairs for a ball. One and one to count. On the other field behind us here, Crown Point leading three to nothing late in their ball game. Is that the red or the white over there? There's a pitch inside. Not sure if that's the red or white, but they are winning. That's the crown point red. There's a pitch over for a strike. Two and two to count. Blake Dobry, Austin Tomaszewski, the catcher, is in the on-deck circle. Count goes full once again. Runner moves up to third. We got runners at the corners now. That's strike three on the outside corner. Second out of the inning. 40 pitches, Blue. 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 
blue, 40 pitches. All right, and this will bring up the catcher, Austin Tomaszewski. Got any local people watching? They might recognize the name Tomaszewski. He's carried Griffith to the state finals back in 01. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change here. Number four, that's Levi Bowling coming in. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back with more after this 4-2 to two our score here on the Region Sports Network. Cherville leads on the only game in town. Hi, I'm Crowell Company's Lantern Man. I'll cover your motorcycle. I'll be with you on the water. I'll be with you on the snow. I'll cover your insurance needs wherever you go. I'll be at Crowell Agency from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. As Crowell Company's Lantern Man, I'm your insurance superhero. Crowell Company's the insurance professionals in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. From schools to stadiums, hospitals, and bridges, everywhere you look, Union Carpenters are building Indiana. With jobs and skilled trades in high demand, there's never been a better time to start building your future. As an apprentice, you'll earn a debt-free college degree, earn while you learn, and receive great benefits like health care and retirement. So what are you waiting for? Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. And welcome back out here, everybody, to Crown Point, Indiana, and the 10U Cal Ripken World Series. Thank you for joining us, no matter where you might be watching. All right, back to live action. It's four to two, our score. The bases, oh, check that runners at second and third. Four to two, Cherville leads over Willamette Valley. Austin Tomaszewski is the hitter. That pitch is upstairs, two and oh. As I mentioned, uh, started to mention earlier, Austin's dad, Mike, is the coach. Was a standout pitcher for the Griffith Panthers back around the turn of the millennium. That pitch misses outside. Three balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch from Bowling. That grabs a piece of the plate for strike one. Bowling with the pitch. Swung on and missed a big swing by Tomaszewski. Full count once again. Two on, two out as well. Pitch upstairs. Ball four. The bases are going to be loaded. And Maddox Rotten, the second baseman, steps up. Outside for a ball. 1 0 the count. Bowling has a sign from his catcher. Here's the kick in the pitch. That's over for a strike to even up the count of one and one. Pitch down low for a ball now two and one. The last game of the night here. Cherville and Willamette Valley. Here's the pitch. That's over for a strike. Yeah. 
Two balls, two strikes. Two out, here's the pitch. Strike three, says the home plate umpire, and that is going to end the inning. But not before Cherville plates four runs. They take a four to two lead as they bat around. We'll go to the second inning here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? Moose, no, you were so close. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. And we're back out here live in Crown Point, Indiana. 10 Cal Ripken World Series, final game of the night here between Willamette Valley and Cherville. How is it? Willamette? Willamette, thank you very much. Willamette, where are you guys from? State, Oregon, the Great Northwest, all right. Swung on, fouled out of play. Off the screen, Oops, excuse me. Here's the one-two pitch. On the outside corner for strike three. Levi Bowling now batting. Line drive to second base, two hopper. Picks up, throws over to first in time. That'll be the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up, it's like William, Willem Corio, Corio. Willem, like Willem Dafoe. Swung on and missed. Maybe that maybe that's Curtis. Can't can't quite tell. Uh, try to see the name on the back of the jersey. What's the name on the back of it? Carius. One ball, two strikes, two out. Four to two, our score. Cherville leads, here's the pitch, woo! Little chin music there. Count is now even two balls and two strikes. Michael Bradner taking off after a long day, thank you. Michael did a, I don't know, how many games did you do today, Mike? I don't know. And lost track, he did so many. Here's the 2-2, two -two. swung on and missed, strike three. 
The inning is over. So we'll go to the bottom of the second. Cherville leads it by a score of 4-2 to two here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Thinking about what to do after high school? Consider a career with Boilermakers Local 374. As a Boilermaker apprentice, you'll earn while you learn. We offer excellent wages and benefits, and as part of our no-cost, hands-on apprenticeship program, you'll learn from the best in state-of-the-art training centers and on the job. Become a union Boilermaker and get on your way to a great career. Find out more. Visit www.local374.org or call 219-845-1000. Develop skills that will last for a lifetime with an apprenticeship with the Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers Local 4, Indiana, Kentucky. The apprenticeship and training program is committed to developing highly skilled bricklayers, terrazzo workers, and ceramic tile setters to provide the construction industry with the best hands in the business. If you are currently working non-union and want better pay with benefits, or if you think learning a new skill with a paid apprenticeship while you earn your associate's degree is the right path for you, visit BACLocal4.com. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. All right, welcome back everybody to Region Sports coverage here, the Cal Ripken 10 World Series. I want to thank our presenting sponsor, Pet Supplies Plus here in Crown Point. Our score, Cherville 4, Willamette Valley. I got to talk to some of the locals. They straightened me out on the pronunciation. So ground ball back to the pitcher. Throw over the first. I believe that's in time. I hear the Willamette fans cheering. That would have been the top of the order. Noah Kohler, I believe. Do I have that right? Yes, I do. Noah Kohler, that was. That'll bring up Parker Coffey. Parker is the left fielder. Fly ball, line drive, I should say. Gets into left field. Going to be a base hit. Tristan Clausen steps up to the plate here. He's got a ball one, no strike count. Line drive to the second baseman. He makes the catch, throws over to first, not in time for the double play, but a nice play nonetheless. now steps up to the plate. Ground ball over to first. Fielded in time for the third out of the inning. So a pretty quick second inning, all things considered. Our score remains Cherville 2, Willamette Valley, I'm sorry, Cherville 4, Willamette Valley 2. We're back after this on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Lights Team Sports in Valparaiso is a leader in athletics apparel and equipment sales. With in-house production, including screen printing, trophies, embroidery, and more, Blights can help you to create the perfect look. For more information, visit them online at teamblights.com. Blights Team Sports in Valparaiso, where the athletes shop.
Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. And we're back out here now as we go to the third inning. Cherville leads Willamette Valley by a score of 4-2. to two. I want to thank one of our sponsors, Station 21, right here in downtown Crown Point. Taking care of the RSN crew this week with uh, all the vittles that we need to keep working. So we want to thank them for that. If you're going to be in town this week, they're literally a one-minute walk from the park here. So feel free to go on over. I know they are. Uh, the games we have live, they're showing on the TVs in there. Willamette Valley. Got a little information about them. The, the Eugene area of uh, Oregon is where this valley and this team comes from. Uh, Portland would be the bigger metropolitan area, but uh, they're closer to Eugene and the University of Oregon. It's one state I've never been to, but it's on my list. Ground ball up the middle, shortstop has it. Quick throw to first. What's the call? Cherville fans are cheering, so I'm guessing he's out of there. He is, yep. Top of the order now, Wyatt Smith comes to the plate. Willamette Valley, a 150 mile long valley in Oregon in the Pacific Northwest. Sounds like a nice place to visit, doesn't it? One ball, one strike. Chris Ramirez here. Got Zach Miller with me. And I got James, and James' last name is Chalos. Fly ball to right field, right fielder has it. That's the second out of the inning. A lot of vineyards in the area. My wife would probably like that. I could probably get her to go. Willamette Valley. Foul back off the screen. It's nice to have all these different uh, teams coming in from all different parts of the United States. Got even a team from Australia here. It's really interesting to talk to these people coming in from other places. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball. Four to two our score. Cherville leads. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. This is McCann at the plate. Keenan McCann. He'll be followed by Cal Deringer. One ball, two strikes. Two out, here's a kick and pitch by Hobbins. Line drive into right field, gonna be play at first. I think they got him, they did. They did, that's gonna be a 9-3 put out. You don't see that every day. But we just had one here and Cherville gets out of the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Cherville still leads 4-2 to two here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town.
located just one block north of the square in Crown Point and just one minute from Jerry Ross Park. Station 21 American Grill is one of the city's most popular eateries. Station 21 offers a full menu from steaks and seafood to burgers and wings. While in town for the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in and enjoy comfortable dining while watching a game on one of the 28 big screen TVs. Check out the menu at station21.com. Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. And welcome back here to Jerry Ross Park. Crown Point, Indiana, just off the downtown square, the historic downtown square. One of the great communities here in Northwest Indiana. Thank you for joining us. Cherville leads Willamette Valley by a score of four to two as we go to the bottom of the third. Here we go, Levi. I think this is gonna be Colin Israel leading off, I have it right. There's a pitch just misses, it is Colin Israel. James Chalice, huh? Levi is a pitcher. Levi bowling on the mound. Ground ball over to third. Nice pickup by the third baseman. Long throw across the diamond. And he is retired. Score that 5-3 in your scorebook. Liam Butkus now the hitter. Game has slowed down considerably since the first inning in terms of offensive production. Pitch by Bowling, swung on and missed by Butkus. Liam Butkus, the first baseman here for Sherrillville. That pitch misses. Two balls and one strike. I got Zach Miller here with me. Jack Chalos, I'm Chris Ramirez. Thank you for joining us. Did I say that right? James, what did I say? Sorry, James. I got my, my James and my Jacks confused. It's James Chalos. James has been working extra long today. We appreciate it. Two out in the inning. Max Mutkin now the hitter. Popped it up. Second baseman goes back. Makes the grab and it'll be another one, two, three inning here. A third quick inning on both sides. We'll go now to the fourth. The score remains Sherrillville 4, Willamette Valley 2, here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Top reasons to work at Strack and Van Til. Many opportunities to grow. Flexible hours. Outstanding benefits, like paid vacation time and holidays. Enjoy health benefits in a 401k plan. I always feel like I'm part of the team. Premium and competitive pay. The sign-on and referral bonuses help to find the perfect talent. Text STRAX to 972 to apply today or visit our site at strackandventil.com slash careers. Nobody else will give you the opportunities that we do. Hi, I'm Crowell Company's Lantern Man. I'll cover your motorcycle. I'll be with you on the water. I'll be with you on the snow. I'll cover your insurance needs wherever you go. I'll be at Crowell Agency from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. As Crowell Company's Lantern Man, I'm your insurance superhero. Crowell Company's the insurance professionals in Highland, Maryville, and Michigan City. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Cal Deringer will lead things off here. 
for Willamette Valley. Four to two, our score, top of the fourth. Cherville leads in this one. All runs scored in the first inning. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast here tonight. The last game of the night, I don't know how many there have been today, 15, 16 games, something like that out here at Crown Point. Backed up a little bit from yesterday's rain. Want to thank our presenting sponsor, Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Ground ball to second, over to first. Yeah, I think the runner's going to reach base over there. He is safe. Thank you, James. That's going to bring up England. Jackson, England. First pitch misses for a ball. Hobbins with the pitch. Swung on and missed. That'll even up the count at one ball and one strike. Pitch fouled out of play. One ball, two strikes now. Got a whole week of baseball for you out here at Crown Point. If you're local, come on by. Games all day. Fly ball, right field. First baseman makes the catch in foul territory for the first out of the inning. Now Noah Mitchell will be the hitter. Ground ball smashed to second. Second baseman has it, throws to second and gets the lead runner, a nice play. Second baseman out there, that's Maddox Rotten. Rotten. So two out in the inning now, runner at first. Score that is a fielder's choice, 5-6, if you're scoring at home. Here's the pitch, fouled off. Caleb Vermeer is the hitter. Nope, that's not who that is. Is that? At five, thank you. Jacob Bottom is the hitter. That pitch misses. One ball, two strikes now. Fisted out of play, foul right side. Kicking the pitch from Hobbins. That misses downstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. Jacob Bottom the hitter. That pitch gets away and the runner's gonna move up to second base. So now Willamette Valley has a runner in scoring position. There are two outs in the inning, however. Let's see if Bottom can bring him home. Here's the pitch. Strike three, says the home plate umpire right on the outside corner, and that's gonna end the threat. No runs, one hit, no error. One man left on base. We're gonna go to the bottom of the fourth. Sherrillville still leads it four to two. Here on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. This box is small, like Pet Supplies Plus. This one is large, like a big box store. In each, Stu, I Stu, 
has carefully hidden a toy. Question is, which dog will find it first? Moose, no, you were so close. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. Welcome back, everybody. Cal Ripken 10 U World Series here in Crown Point, Indiana on the Region Sports Network. And ground ball to the pitcher. Over to first in time. One pitch, one out. That was Blake Dobry, and this will be Adam Tomaszewski coming up. Our presenting sponsor here this week is Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. That pitch hits the plate, bounces up for ball one. Got some late night baseball for you. Four to two, our score, bottom of the fourth. Woo, wow, that was a nice pitch. A little break on that ball. One ball, one strike. There's a bunt, it's gonna go foul. Catcher had just a little trouble locating it at first. So that makes the count now one ball and two strikes. Good idea to try to lay one down there. Bowling has the sign. Here's the turn in the pitch. Outside for a ball. That'll even up the count now. No, oh, yep. Inside, the count goes full now, three and two. Here's the pitch from Bowling. Fouled back off the screen. Tomaszewski staying alive. Side corner, full Tomaszewski on that one. A nice pitch by Bowling. We've got two out now in the inning, and that'll bring up Maddox Rotten, the second baseman. A couple of real nice pitches there in that at bat for Bowling. There's another one. I think he's starting to find his groove out there. We had all offense in the first inning, but since then, defense and pitching has started to take over. Popped it up, first baseman camps under it, makes the play for the third out of the inning. One, two, three, nothing across. We'll go to the top of the fifth now. Our score, Cherville four, Willamette Valley two. We're back with more on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Thinking about what to do after high school? 
consider a career with Boilermakers Local 374. As a Boilermaker apprentice, you'll earn while you learn. We offer excellent wages and benefits, and as part of our no-cost, hands-on apprenticeship program, you'll learn from the best in state-of-the-art training centers and on the job. Become a union Boilermaker and get on your way to a great career. Find out more. Visit www.local374.org or call 219-845-1000. Develop skills that will last for a lifetime with an apprenticeship with the Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers Local 4, Indiana, Kentucky. The apprenticeship and training program is committed to developing highly skilled bricklayers, terrazzo workers, and ceramic tile setters to provide the construction industry with the best hands in the business. If you are currently working non-union and want better pay with benefits, or if you think learning a new skill with a paid apprenticeship while you earn your associate's degree is the right path for you, visit baclocal4.org slash training to learn more about the the apprenticeship program. Are you built to succeed? Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. We go to the top of the fifth. Well, the game was really dragging on in that first inning, but it has moved along quick since then. Thank you for joining us. It's four to two. Cherville leads over Willamette Valley. Willamette Valley out of Oregon. Cherville, the next town over from Crown Point. Fouled off, one and one to count. Our coverage here all week, presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. A chopper to short, nope, third baseman cuts it off, throw over to first. Looks like he's going to be safe at first. No, he's out. Oh, he is out. I'm kind of blinded from my spot, so bear with me. James, what number is he? Four. This is bowling? Oh, thank you. Levi bowling the hitter. Pitch down low. Two balls, no strikes to bowling. Here's the pitch from Hobbins. Smash up the middle, second base with a long run. Bobbles it, throws over to first. Out at first. I couldn't get a good look at it, but the Willamette Valley fans are disagreeing with that call. Two down now in the inning. Court to Wall now the hitter. Court started the game pitching. Here's the pitch, one out of the wall. That's over for a strike. Count is even now, one and one. Nobody on, two out, top of the fifth. Here's the pitch, inside for a ball. Just six innings for these 10U games, so it gets late quick. Here's the pitch. On the outside corner for a strike, that'll even it up. Nothing but deuces along the bottom of the scoreboard. Two balls, two strikes, and two out. Here's the pitch. Ground ball over to first. Going to be a close play. He's out at first. Three close plays at first base in this inning. And they all go Cherville's way. What? Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, that is going to be the third out of the inning. Okay. So, okay, one, two, three, nothing across. We're going to go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cherville still holding on to that two run lead. We're back with more on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. 
Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso is a leader in athletics apparel and equipment sales. With in-house production, including screen printing, trophies, embroidery, and more, Blythe's can help you to create the perfect look. For more information, visit them online at teamblythe's.com. Blythe's Team Sports in Valparaiso, where the athletes shop. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10 World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. And we're back out here at the 10 Cal Ripken World Series in Crown Point, Indiana. And it's presented to you by Pet Supplies Plus here in Crown Point. I want to thank our friends over there as well as the good folks here at Cal Ripken in Crown Point for having us out. <laughs> Leading off, this is the leadoff hitter in the lineup, Noah Kohler. Noah plays right field. No balls, one strike. Swings at a high fastball. Up the first baseline to throw. He's out at first. So Kohler is retired, and that'll bring up Parker Coffey. All the last four outs in this game have been close plays at first base. Parker Coffey, the left fielder, steps in. One ball, no strikes to Coffee. There's a pitch up at the eyes for a ball. 2-0 to count. A full week of baseball out here at Jerry Ross Park. If you're local, come on by. Pitchers upstairs, three balls now and no strikes. Been a long day of baseball here, but we're down to the final game here of the day. Ball four to Coffee. Cherville has a base runner, and that'll bring up Tristan Clawson. Ground ball smash, second baseman flips over to short in time to get the lead runner at second for the second out of the inning. Clawson now at first on the fielder's choice and that'll bring up Leo Hobbins, the pitcher for Cherville. Here's the pitch from Bowling. Smash past the third baseman. Shortstop makes the play but won't have a throw. Runners at first and second. That ball shot off the bat of Leo Hobbins. Nine is gonna come in and run. That'll be Derek Moffitt. Derek is, go Derek is gonna run for Leo Hobbins, the pitcher. I think they're picking up some speed on the bases with this move. Okay, that is a substitution. So Moffitt is not running for Hobbins. He's coming in for him. So he's taking his place. We'll see what that means on the bump in the bottom, on the top of the sixth. 
There's a pitch over for a strike. Colin Israel, the hitter. Nice pitch there over at the knees for a strike. 0 and 2 the count. Here's the 0 2. Just misses on the outside, a little high maybe. One and two the count. Swung on and missed for strike three. Israel might have swung in a ball there, but either way, the inning is over. And we're gonna go to the sixth. Four to two our score. Sheriff leads. We'll be back with the finish on the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Located just one block north of the square in Crown Point and just one minute from Jerry Ross Park, Station 21 American Grill is one of the city's most popular eateries. Station 21 offers a full menu from steaks and seafood to burgers and wings. While in town for the Cal Ripken World Series, stop in and enjoy comfortable dining while watching a game on one of the 28 big screen TVs. Check out the menu at Station21.com. Station 21 American Grill. Eat, drink, and relax. Welcome back to the 2023 Cal Ripken 10U World Series presented by Pet Supplies Plus in Crown Point. All right, welcome back, everybody. Sixth inning action here, top of the sixth. Sheriff leads Willamette Valley 4-2. to two. I want to correct myself. I thought Hobbins uh, needed to come out of the game due to the runner, but the re-entry rule takes effect here, so Hobbins is still in the game on the hill. There's the pitch that misses. Number 10 is the hitter, and that is Hunter Wood. Swung, swung on and missed. One and one to count. 10 U Cal Ripken. This is a six inning game, so if it ends in regulation, this will be it. That pitch misses. But we've seen extra innings out here today already. It could happen again. A two-run lead, certainly not by any stretch insurmountable. Here's the 2-1. That misses. Three balls and one strike. Wood looking to get on base. Willamette Valley needs a base runner. Here's the pitch. And they've got one. Four straight bad ones there, and Willamette Valley has a base runner. And they go to the top of the order with Wyatt Smith. Here we go, 14. Wyatt represents the tying run in this ball game. Here's the 1 0 from Hobbins. That misses. Two balls and no strikes. That's over. Two and one to count now. Hobbins has been nearly unhittable the last three innings or so. A little bit of trouble with his control here in the top of the sixth. Let's see if he can find it. Wyatt Smith, the hitter. Here's the 2-1. Ground ball, chopper to second. Throw over to first in time. That's the first out of the inning. The runner will advance. 6 3 put out on that, or 5 3 put out, make it. Maddox Rotten, Routen to Liam Butkus over there at first base. With the runner moving up, the double play is not in effect here, not the standard one, anyhow. 
This is Keenan McCann, the hitter. He fouls it off right side. A lot of good baseball games out here today, and this is another one. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. 75, blue 75. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Line drive, one hopper to the second baseman, throws over to first. In time for the out, two down. And we've got time. We may be getting a pitching change here. Is that the max? Okay, all right. Great job by Leo Hobbins tonight, but he is at the pitch limit. So he's going to take a seat. And we'll see if Noah Kohler can get that third out for him. That is who we have out there, right, guys? Is that no, number one? Blake Dobry goes to right field. And that is Noah Kohler up there. Thank you. Willamette Valley down to their last out here. We're going to keep it here, Zach. I'm good to go. Get some warm-ups in. We'll have baseball for you all day tomorrow as well, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Games from the A field will be live streamed. And we'll see what we can do about getting any games from here live streamed tomorrow. And work on the internet situation. But it is supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, here we go. Cal Deringer. The last hope in the ball game now for Willamette Valley. Lefty versus lefty matchup. Check swing, no, gets away, but not too far. A long ball would tie it. Well, if it's long enough, that is. Take a, quite a poke over that right field fence. The wall is pretty high. Here's the 1-0. Fouled off now, one and one the count. Deringer, the number three hitter. If he can keep it alive, Jackson England will come to the plate. Here's the pitch. That misses two balls, no strikes now. One ball. Two and one. Oh. That pitch gets away. The runner holds up. Yeah, you do not want to be the third out at home plate, so a smart move by the base runner. Three balls, one strike. Two out, four to two, top of the sixth inning. Noah Kohler versus Cal Deringer. Did that hit him? It doesn't matter anyway, it would have been ball four. So now the tying run is at first base. And Jackson England is the hitter. And suddenly this ball game has gotten very interesting. Top of the sixth. If you're new to Cal Ripken baseball, this is the equivalent to the ninth inning in major leagues. There's a pitch over for strike one. So this is the last at bat barring Willamette Valley catching up and tying. So let's see what happens here. Swung on and missed. No balls, two strikes. Here we go. 
That's up high for a ball, one and two. Kohler with the pitch. Ground ball to Short. Shortstop has it, runs over to second, tags the base, and that's going to do it. Sherville has won the game by a score of 4-2 over the Willamette Valley. In the last game of the night here in Crown Point. All the runs scored in the first inning in this game. And it was a pitcher's duel from there on out. See the two teams shaking hands. So that's going to do it from Crown Point for today. As the two teams get set out there to... I believe they do some exchanging or... Player of the game, kind of MVP type thing that they'll do for each other. So if we're going to do our awards here, we've got the Lantern Man Superhero of the Game. I would have to go with the pitching of Leo Hobbins in this one. Gave up two in the first inning, but then shut Willamette Valley down after that. So he is our Lantern Call Insurance Lantern Man Superhero of the game. Our proud union home play of the game. Going to have to go back to the first inning. Uh, I'll have to look it up exactly to see who it was, but it would have been that go-ahead RBI single uh, in the top of the first. So we'll figure that out and get back to you. And now we'll name our blue collar. Local, so that was the IKORCC uh, play of the game. Single in the first inning to uh, put Sherrillville ahead. And now the Boilermakers local 374 blue collar player of the game. Uh, that's a good question. We would, I would give that to uh, the pitcher for Willamette Valley. And let me uh, grab his name again. It was Court Duel starting pitcher. He, he was Levi, Le, Levi Bowling is the guy we're looking for. Thank you. Levi Bowling is the uh, he is the uh, local 374 Boilermakers blue collar player of the game. All right. Well, that's going to do it. You see the final score there. Four to two. Sherrillville wins it. We're all back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another full day of baseball. I want to thank Adam Whitehouse and everybody associated with Crown Point Cal Ripken for all their help out here uh, in many different ways. I want to thank uh, all of our crew members that worked out here today. There's a long list of them. But uh, the two I need to thank the most are the ones hanging out with me tonight right now, Zach Miller to my right and James Chalice to my left on the camera. Thank you guys for staying out here past 11 o'clock. A long day of baseball indeed, but uh, we've got it behind us now. So, again, thank you to everybody for, for their, uh, watching. Thank you for staying with us throughout the day if you were able to do that. We'll be back tomorrow with more baseball. I'm Chris Ramirez for the Region Sports Network, the only game in town. Assistant coaches, Ben, Sam, batting third and playing center field, number double zero, Ben, 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 